Hello, in this video we are having a look at how you can insert in a text box within your PowerPoint presentation. In front of you you can see I have a blank presentation which we are now going to insert in a text box. There are two ways to insert in a text box. First, on the Home tab, if you go to the Drawing section on the ribbon, there is a section here with lots of different shapes, but at the top there is a text box option. A second way is to go to the Insert tab, and under the Text section, you'll see there is a text box button here as well. So these are the two different ways you can insert a text box within PowerPoint. We're now going to click on this text box button and we're now going to draw a text box on our slide. You'll see the cursor has changed which shows us now we're in that text box drawing mode. I'm going to double click, click and drag to now draw my text box on my slide. Let go and you can now see that I now have my text box inserted on my slide. I'm now going to type in some text and you can hopefully have seen, as I was typing, the text box change size automatically. This is something that happens by default within PowerPoint. The width of the text box stays the same, so however you inserted it. However, when you type in the text, it will shrink in height. And it will only increase in height as you type in more or go down the different levels and lines within your text box. You can see as I inserted a line underneath that text that I typed in, the text box grew in height. If I use the backspace key to go back up, you'll see that it is now shrunk in height again to allow for that. So from here, of course, you can see now the text box has been inserted in. To change the size of the text box, you can use the outside circles found along the outside of your text box. The corner circles resize the text box in two directions at once, whereas the circles on the top and bottom or left and right just resize the text box in one direction at a time. I'm now going to use the right circle to increase it again going widthwise, and you can see that automatically the height has changed to allow for that. To move the text box, just make sure your cursor is on the outside line of your text box. And you can see that there is like a black cross with a white arrow. If you now click and drag this around, you can see it's now moving your text box on the slide. With your text box selected, an extra tab appears up at the top. This has a number of different formatting options you can use on your text box. You can apply a fill, an outline or effects to your text box. To demonstrate, I'm going to hover over one of the shape styles and you'll see it is now applied that temporarily to the text box on your screen. To remove a text box, just make sure you have it selected and then you can use the delete key on your keyboard to remove it. So this is just inserting text boxes within PowerPoint to add information to your presentation. 